is the velvet apple tree, which I'm really excited about. So you can see that these are actually uh, to be in season right now, too. Although you don't get these at... Oh, there it is. Velvet apple. Yeah, you don't get these at the uh, markets for some reason, but it seems like now is the time for velvet apples. Hey, I'm excited. Okay, bugs are still eating me, so bear with me. You know, if I don't make it out of here, at least I can say that this was at least a pretty good haul. My fruit adventures have been going really well, so yeah, no complaint so far. This is the velvet apple on the inside. It's a literal, literal cloud of mosquitoes around me right now. And mosquitoes here harbor disease, so hey, that's great. Um, if I just pass out on camera eating this thing, you'll know why. But there's the inside. It's got like these rather large seeds there. It smells kind of bizarre. I think this one might not be very good. I hear like mixed reviews about it. Some people really love it. Some people really hate it. Um, yeah, I don't know. It smells kind of like buttermilk. Hmm. It's not bad. Okay. This is fine. A little hard to enjoy right now because I'm getting eaten alive. But it's got a nice flavor. Um, I'm going to actually just put some of this in my mouth and walk away from this cloud of bugs. The flavor of the velvet apple. I don't know. It's weird. It's recognizable. Maybe a little bit like like a candy that I've had. It's like a little bit like Hmm. I think they're related to persimmons. It doesn't especially taste like a persimmon, though. A little bit. It tastes more like... <laughs> like... A little bit like the Olo Sapo, which is like a really sweet, like, egg fruit kind of taste. It also has, like, a little bit of that tutti-frutti bubblegum taste that a lot of fruits seem to have. Um, <clears throat> the bale fruit that I just had... Uh, before this one, it actually tastes kind of similar to it, which is kind of strange because they are like pretty distantly related, like or not even related at all. I mean, they're both plants, but otherwise not uh, too similar. There's people walking, and they probably think I'm insane. But um, yeah, very sweet, very sweet candy kind of flavor, kind of like mango, I think, like a candy, like mango candy. But also has like little berry flavors in it. But the berry taste is like it tastes like like yogurty. It's like mango and strawberry yogurt. Yeah. I mean, there's other complex flavors to it, but I think that's as good as I'm gonna get under uh, the kind of conditions I'm in right now, where I'm like struggling to eat fruit before I get killed by mosquitoes, but, um, yeah, especially now I'm getting the aftertaste. It definitely has, like, a creamy, like, cheese-like flavor to it. So, yeah, I'm gonna go with mango yogurt. Maybe a little bit with, like, a berry taste, like mango strawberry yogurt. Really, really good. And people who don't like this thing, I think they're getting a fruit that is maybe not, um, ideal. I think it varies a lot tree by tree, but that one, A+, plus, really good. Hey guys, do you want to see the next video right now? Well, you can! Just uh, go to my Patreon page. Just for one dollar, you can see next week's episode one week early. There's also a whole bunch of other bonuses you can get, like exclusive content, getting weird stuff in the mail, and all sorts of fun stuff like that. Uh, and this really does help me out. All the money that I make goes towards producing these videos, so all the, the traveling that I do, all the fruit that I buy, all the equipment that I need, you know, that is all Patreon money. So without that help, this series would not be possible. So if you want to help me out, if you want to get some cool stuff, just click on that link, click on this video, and you can learn more. Thanks so much.